Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Geo here. I wasn't really going to do it this year. For some reason, I wasn't really feeling it. But at the last minute, I thought, I'm going to do it. Because looking back, if I skip a year, I'm going to be annoyed. I've been doing anime collection videos since 2018, or even before that. So I wanted to continue the tradition and give you the 2022 anime collection update video. It's a long one. Grab a snack or your favorite drink. Let's get to it. All right, let's get started, folks. I pulled the top row to the middle here so it's easier to grab and show you guys. Uh, here's the first one, Astro Boy, the 80s series, A Certain Magical Index, Season 1, Season 2 of that series, as well as the movie, A Certain Scientific Railgun. Here is Season 1, Railgun S, which would be Season 2 of that. One of the best cyberpunk series around, Akudama Drive. Next up, an original anime from Progressive Animation Works. This is Apare Ranman. Really enjoyed it. Imagine Steel Ball Run with wacky races. And that's sort of what you get with this. Ascendance of a Bookworm, Seasons 1 and 2. This is one of my all-time favorite isekai series. Highly recommend you guys check this out if you're into the genre. And over here, this big bunch. I'm going to pull out every single release. Well, actually, I'll do it. Attack on Titan. You can sort of see it there in the background. Seasons 2 uh, right there. Here's Season 3, Part 1. Here's Season 3, Part 2. And I thought it was going to be the final season, but no, of course not. See, uh, final season, Part 1. And then we had Part 2 air recently, and we're going to get Part 3, which will be the final, final season of Attack on Titan. I have the Essentials versions of Barakamon, the Berserk Golden Age arc trilogy of movies. Black Lagoon, the Classics Editions. This has everything, including the uh, OVA series. Bleach, just one set. I'm still not committed to owning all of it because it's so much. And honestly, I would rather own the manga. This is the only piece of media from Boruto that I care about. This is the movie. Another comedic isekai. Cautious a hero. The hero is overpowered, but overly cautious. Here we have Clanad. If you want to cry for 24 episodes, give this a watch. And if you want to cry some more, you watch 25 more episodes of Clanad After Story. Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion, and uh, Season 2 right here, R2, I should say. And the spin-off of Code Geass, Akito the Exiled. Cowboy Bebop, the complete series. I'm missing the movie. I think that's out of print on Blu-ray. And I never bothered upgrading from my DVD copy, which is somewhere in here in this collection. Darkstalkers, the complete OVA collection. If you don't know, Darkstalkers is my favorite fighting game franchise. Love this series of games, and I love this OVA collection. This box set I was baited on by a friend, and I got it. It's the uh, Darling and the Franks complete set right here with the uh, slip cover. Comes with a bunch of extras and the Blu-rays inside. Death Note, the complete series. Sticking with the Death theme. Here is Death Parade, one of my all-time favorite shows as well. Really love this series. Demon Slayer. This is the first half of season one right here and the second half. Extremely expensive, super overpriced. It looks great, but I already owned the manga. I reviewed it on the channel. I don't feel the need to collect the anime. Maybe if I find the uh, cheaper sets, but then they won't match the Aniplex releases. I don't know. I'm just no longer a fan of Aniplex. You got Digimon Adventure Try, Reunion, Determination, Confession, Loss, Coexistence, and Future. As well as Last Evolution Kizuna. Next up is Dororo, the 2019 reboot of the Tezuka Classic. This was done by Studio Mappa, which basically put them on the map for everybody out there. And here we have the final set of uh, the first row. It is the season one box set of Dr. Stone. Here are the two Blu-ray sets as well as the art book. I love this release. It's amazing. I love Dr. Stone, one of my favorite uh, Shonen Jump titles. But similar to Demon Slayer, I started collecting the manga first. So I went with that instead of grabbing every single release. So I skipped out on season two of Dr. Stone, but nonetheless, I'm super happy to own this. And maybe 
later down the road if I find season two for cheap. Maybe I'll grab it. Alrighty, second row of the collection. Here is the first box set of Dudadada. Got this for cheap from an eBay seller. I think because of this puncture right here. Uh, I don't know, I'm just speculating, but I got it for cheap. I think it was like 60 to 70 bucks, and now this goes for a ton of money. Who would have thunk it? I'm not a fan of Aniplex. I wish this would get reprinted under a different label so people can get it, because it's an amazing series. I love Durarara. Unfortunately, I have the second season here. Here's the first set. Take a look at the spines. Or Actually, let's do the first one, too, because it's pretty cool. There's the spines for that. If you guys know where I can find box sets five and six, let me know in the comment section or any alternatives. If I have to get the Region B release or get the Japanese Blu-ray, let me know in the comment section. Eden of the East, I do have the movies. They're not stored with the Blu-rays because of the DVD case that they came with. Eureka 7, one of my all-time favorite shows I love this series so much. It has a little bit of everything. It has the intrigue. It has the war elements. It has the mecha stuff. It has the sci-fi, the space. It has romance, action, comedy, drama, a little bit of everything. Highly, highly recommend this. One of my favorite shows of all time. Now the sequel, Eureka 7 AO, eh, not so much. Watch at your own discretion. <laughs> and here we have the Eureka 7 High Evolution movies. Of course, we're missing the third one, but pretty cool to have these as well. Oh, the Fate series. Here's Fate Stay Night, the complete collection. This was the Sentai release. I used to have this on DVD. I was a fan of it. Not a lot of people like it compared to the later works from UFO Table, but this is a really cool series. Here is Unlimited Blade Works. I do have box set two and not box set one, I was going to get the first box set when they were released. Unfortunately, I took too long, and when I made the order for both box sets, uh, they uh, sold out. And I was lucky enough that I got this in time and they shipped it. The other one, I was sent a refund, and then I had to get the set on DVD, which you'll see in a bit. And to make matters more frustrating, they released a complete Blu-ray box set of Unlimited Blade Works. Nobody's going to want to buy my DVD set, nor this box set, so I guess I'm stuck with it. So who knows what I'll do with that. But I'm just happy to have it nonetheless. Here is Fate Zero, the complete Blu-ray box set. I did an unboxing of this ages ago, which uh, was a lot of fun. And of course, the movie trilogy of Heaven's Feel. So here's uh, the third one, the second one, and the first cover right there. Similar to Dr. Stone and Demon Slayer, here's the first season of Fire Force. I was collecting it, I was collecting the manga volumes, I should say, but I decided to stick to the anime. This is my preferred way to enjoy that story. I haven't gotten season two yet. I'm hoping they release a complete season set and not this, where I have to buy a chipboard box and the two half seasons. Come on, guys. Well, we can do better than that. Let's get a complete season set for a better price with none of the trinkets and extras that I personally do not care for couple Sentai releases. Here is Flying Witch. Fantastic slice of life with the hint of supernatural and magical stuff with witches. I only have the first two seasons of uh, Food Wars. Season one and season two. I've been meaning to get all five of them, but uh, and, and I always like telling the story. I got Food Wars, these two sets, for $10. Uh, from a Black Friday sale <laughs> on Sentai's website. And I am still waiting for the day that the third season drops down to that ridiculous price. I don't know. I kind of want that to happen and sort of keep that trend going with uh, Food Wars. Here are the original Blu-ray releases for Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood from Funimation when they still had the license. Set two, here's set three, four, and five. And here's the movie. Uh, Sacred Star of Milos, or Milos, however you say it. Feature Boy Conan, directed by Hayao Miyazaki of Studio Ghibli fame. Super cool series, highly recommended. Ghost in the Shell Arise, the first two episodes or OVAs. And here are the other two, three and four. And this is 
Ghost in the Shell, the new movie, which is a sequel to the Arise version of the series. Now, if you're wondering where the heck Standalone Complex is, I have it on DVD and never really bothered upgrading because the Blu-ray releases are not the best transfers. So I decided to uh, not get them at the moment. Golden Kamui Season 1 with the limited edition box set, which they never repeated for uh, Seasons 2 or 3, which I have here. Here's Season 2. Same scheme and everything, but no, no uh, chipboard box. And here's uh, Season 3. Here is Hachime no Ippo The Fighting. The complete series, the modern version, all 76 episodes, including the OVA and special. So here's the cover for the second one. It's a shame the spines don't completely match. And here's the last one. Speaking of sports, here is, I got a uh, Haikyuu, similar to Food Wars. I got it for like, I think it was like 13 bucks uh, from a Black Friday sale. The first two sets, first two seasons, I should say. And I waited and waited until I finally grabbed this for... I think like 15 bucks as well on a sale. Hopefully the other sets are uh, lowered in price as well. Heart and Yumi collection. This is limited to 2000 copies. I have here number 326. This includes the movies and the 20 episode TV series. Okay, let's do the third row right here. And we're gonna start with the Helsing Ultimate collection. Here is the chipboard box that was released by Funimation with only the, or, or just enough space for the first eight episodes. I believe because we had no idea if they were gonna do nine and 10, but eventually they did, but still pretty cool to have an oddity on your shelf. Next up is High School of the Dead. I'm not gonna make excuses. I think this show's amazing. It is so funny and action packed. Yes, it's kind of trashy, but in a good way. And here's the OVA, Drifters of the Dead. And I think I got this for like, seven dollars or five bucks on a sale which is so stupid such a waste for just 15 minutes of uh footage himoto umaru-chan the complete first season how heavy are the dumbbells you lift this was a lot of fun fan servicey sure but you actually learn about exercise routines and body anatomy and all that stuff the main character hibiki sakura she is so funny and such a relatable character compared to most main characters in anime and manga. If you like Japanese folklore, or just Asian folklore in general, I think you're gonna get a kick out of Hosoki's cool-headedness. The humor is right up my alley. It's quick-paced, but really fun. Here's the first season, and the second one right there. Hunter Hunter, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and number one. Phantom Rogue, and the last mission. Last mission being the better of the two, but you know, they're all right. Next up is Hyoka. Here is the first set and the second set. Next up is Inspector. Fantastic neo-noir slash uh, yokai and folklore type series. Highly recommend watching it. Here we have Infinite Stratus season one with the soundtrack. The only reason I have this, I wasn't collecting anime at the time, and this I saw this for some unknown reason. I saw this on the internet, I guess, and said, hey, that looks kind of cool, I guess. A little bit fan service -y. I didn't know at the time. I'll get it. And this actually turned out to be my very first anime Blu-ray, because I was a DVD collector. So for that reason alone, it's worthy to have on the shelf, just to see how far we've come when it comes to uh, Blu-ray. Interspecies reviewers, I had no idea this became a collector's item. It's going for stupid money online. A classic for many anime fans of my generation, Inuyasha, the full series. Here we have uh, set one, here's set two, three, four, five, and six. And of course, the final act. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Here we have set one and everything else, you know? Set two, three, four, and five. And Golden Win over here, which would be set six and seven. 
one of my favorite comedies. Here is Konosuba, first season, and season two. Land of the Lustrous, Love, Genevio, and Other Delusions, and the Take On Me movie. This is what I call the Fujiko verse from uh, Lupin the Third. We got the Legend of Fujiko Mine, the series. Made a review on this if you want to check it out. And the movies that followed in that same art style, more heavy on the noir aspect and a gritty, violent, and sensual. Jigen's Gravestone, you got Goemon's Blood Spray, and Fujiko's Lie. Lupin the Third, Part 4, The Italian Adventure. Unfortunately, this is the dub release. Really sucks that we couldn't get both sub and dub on one release. I wasn't going to double dip and get the uh, sub release, so I'm happy with this, I guess. First season of Made in Abyss. I really need to get the movie collection and season two when they release that eventually. Here is Michigo and Hachin, the save edition. You guys remember that from Funimation? Another of my favorite comedies, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid season one. Season two just came out, but unfortunately for this collection video, it's not uh, here yet. Here's Mob Psycho 100. Season 1, and of course, Season 2. As of recording this, Season 3 is halfway done. And next up is a small part of Mobile Suit Gundam. So I have mostly Universal Century. Here is Iron-Blooded Orphans. I do have Gundam Seed, a bit of Gundam Wing, and I do have Gundam 00, but those are all on DVD, and I haven't bothered yet to upgrade. So here's the movie trilogy. Zeta Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam Z, or Double Zeta, if you will, the sequel, Char's Counterattack, the movie. I never bothered upgrading Mobile Suit Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket, so I have the DVD version of that. Gundam F91, Gundam 0083, 08 MS Team. Here's Gundam Unicorn, the Origin OVA collection. Here's the first four episodes. And the last two, five and six, and Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt, Bandit Flower, and December Sky. I think I have those backwards. Should be like this. Okay, there you go. And like I said, here is Iron Blooded Orphans. I got this discounted because they released the full set or the full series, I guess. So I got these for like 10 bucks each or 12 bucks each from Bright Stuff. Another series I stopped collecting here is My Hero Academia because. I have the manga for it, so it makes no sense to keep going with both. Maybe someday I'll grab the whole thing when they do a box set or like a complete collection instead of these half sets. But yeah, all the way from season one to season four, part one is when I stopped. I got the two movies here, Two Heroes and Heroes Rising. Here is Myriad Colors Phantom World, Nadia The Secret of Blue Water from... Hideaki Anno, the creator of Neon Genesis Evangelion. And speaking of Evangelion, here's the series for that. We have the first season of One Punch Man and the first three seasons of Overlord. The complete series of Pat Labor. Everything's included in here. This is one of my favorite releases. As you can see, it has the TV series, the movies, and the OVAs. And then there's this big box for Princess Principal. Prison School, another classic Record of Lodos War, the OVA, and the series. Okay, for this next one, let's take our little buddy here, Totodile. Let's move him out of the way. And this vintage Japanese Donkey Kong Country uh, toy. Here we have the box set for Season 1 of ReZero. You can take this out and fit Season 2 whenever they release that on Blu-ray. So that's going to be awesome. All in one package. Another good Isekai series, Saga of Tanya the Evil. Next up is all of the original Sailor Moon Blu-rays, minus the movies, just the TV series. So I got all five seasons with the limited edition box sets. And we're here looking really cool. Here's the third one, number four, and number five. Here is the first set of Sayuki, the first 50 episodes. The save edition of Shiki, the essentials version of Sakura Quest complete series. This was one of my first Blu-ray purchases back in the day. Samurai Champloo, the complete series from Genion. The save edition of Sengoku Basara containing seasons 1 and 2. 
Shibonetta, a boring world where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. This is a fantastic series. Super funny. Super lewd. I really enjoyed it. This is super wholesome. This is Sleepy Princess and the Demon Castle. Highly recommend watching it or reading the manga. Now this is fun. You got the Space Brothers Blu-rays. I got each volume for $5 at a Black Friday sale from Sentai. <laughs> so here's uh, the first one. And of course, all of them combine to make one cool image. Here is Space Dandy, one of my favorite of Watanabe's works, aside from Bebop, and the second half of the series. Space Runaway Ideon, Spice and Wolf at Steins Gate. I am missing Steins Gate Zero. Here's the movie for Steins Gate. And two more box sets here. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Season 1, and similar to other series that I mentioned on this video, like Dr. Stone and Demon Slayer, etc., etc., I am getting the manga for uh, Slime, so I stopped getting uh, the Blu-ray as a result. Here is the Ancient Magus Bride, the complete series. Haruhi Suzumiya, Seasons 1 and 2, and the Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, the movie. Here is The Rising of the Shield Hero, Season 1, Part 1, and Season 1, Part 2. The Squid Girl, complete seasons 1 and 2, and the OVAs. Those Who Hunt Elves, complete season. Tower of God, Violet Evergarden, and the first movie. Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena, the complete season. Wave, Listen to Me. Higurashi, When They Cry, the complete series. Here's all three seasons of that. Zombieland Saga, season 1, and season 2, Revenge. Now this next part of the collection are the anime films. So you can see here, start with A Letter to Momo, The Silent Voice, at the Rebuild of Evangelion series. Here's 1.11, signed, 2.22, and 3.33. Hopefully the final movie is released soon on Blu-ray. Ghost in the Shell, the 25th anniversary edition. Here is Josie the Tiger and the Fish. Lupin the Third, Castle of Cagliostro on 4K. Machia, Mass Effect Paragon Lost, Memories. Miss Hokusai, Ninja Scroll. Pompo the Cinephile at the first two Project Echo movies. Here's the first one and the second one of the OVAs. Promare at Red Line, Strong World, the One Piece movie. The Essentials version of Sword of the Stranger. The Z One Piece film. Weathering with you and the collector's set for your name. A couple of Mamoru Hosuda films. We got The Girl Who Left Through Time, Wolf Children, we got Summer Wars, The Boy and the Beast, and Bell. And one of my all time favorite directors, the fantastic Satoshi Kon. Here we have. Perfect Blue, Millennium Actress, Tokyo Godfathers, Paranoia Agent, and Paprika. Okay, and what you're looking at here, the bottom part of the shelf, are all my DVDs. The Akira movie, Random Bleach DVDs, A Big Wind Up, you got Blood Plus, the Cowboy Bebop movie, which I talked about at the beginning of the video, uh, five seasons of Case Closed, the ones released by Funimation before they uh, dropped the series, Digimon, the first season of that. I'm waiting for the Japanese release from Discotag, that's coming out soon. Uh, Darker Than Black, it's on DVD, however the OVA collection is on Blu-ray. Uh, Darkstalkers on DVD, I upgraded for the Blu-ray. Yeah, Dean Angel, Ergo Proxy, here are the Eden of the East movies that I told you about on Blu-ray. Uh, the Eureka 7 movie, A Good Night, Sleep Tight, Young Lovers. Here is the Fate Stay Night first season of Unlimited Blade Works that I told you about from Aniplex. This was a really expensive DVD. <laughs> Ghost in the Shell, the second movie, and here's Standalone Complex, seasons one and two, and the movie, Solid State Society. Here's Godana on uh, Thin Pack DVDs. Here's Guren Lagan, the Aniplex DVD release. A couple random ones like Kids on the Slope, which I never upgraded. 
Last Exile, one of my favorite shows. And yeah, it's double stacked. You can see over there Witchblade. What else is in here? Oh, there's some good ones. Count of Monte Cristo, Speed Graffer, Scryed, Silver Spoon. You got Yu Yu Hakusho, a couple Blu-rays here by the way. Toradora, Akame Ga Kill, Kenshin stuff, random stuff over there. And here, yeah, Onegai Teachers over there, a couple Kenshin DVDs. Oh, and I should mention, I don't have here, it's elsewhere and stored away. Uh, I have Dragon Ball Z and Kai on DVD as well as Naruto, all of Naruto, and the Gundam series. Gundam Seed, Gundam Double O. Oh man, that was exhausting. Now let's see, throw me a disc emoji in the comment section to let me know that you are a true MVP and you watched all the way to the end, to this segment. So that is going to be it. Thank you so much. God bless, stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.